Yes, yeah, so today is September the 7th, 2021. I do believe you had a wonderful weekend, and uh, I did. I thank God for his faithfulness. Hallelujah. So we're going to go uh, quickly into the word as I um, express that he decided to give me this word today and as i said before if he gives to me and i feel it is important to share i go ahead and share because it is uh, a food for us all yes yes it is so we're gonna go to mark uh at the 12th chapter of mark verse 30 and 30, 31 and uh, he was talking about love loving our neighbor as ourselves but more it was going to the side of loving ourselves really let me situate this camera a little bit i'm not sure if it is where it's supposed to be <laughs> but i believe so yes yes so um it's more so loving us because we are needed and we are not needed broken and uh with the feelings of unworthiness, with the feelings of um, irrelevance, or I don't matter, or I don't, I don't belong, I don't, you know, you that feeling of hopelessness and that feeling of uh, 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 of of not having any significance in life. He don't want that because he knows who we are in him. He knows we are valuable and he really desires us to really know how valuable we are and how loved we are by him. So we're going to go look on these uh, two verses and we're going to go ahead and, and uh, allow the Lord to reveal what he has in store for us in, in regard of loving ourselves. The scripture says, I'm going to use uh, uh, a new translation, new living translation, uh, uh, Bible version. It says like this. Jesus replied, he was asked a question on, on about the previous verse about, um, you know, let me go there. He realized that the dance at the well of the commandment. Okay. He was asked which commandment is the greatest. And then he went ahead and, and, and the th uh, 29 uh, he answered them, but I want us to focus on 30 and 31, but because they're together, let me start on 29. The most important commandment is this. Now Jesus is talking, listen, O Israel, the Lord our God is one and only Lord. The, uh, and you must love the Lord, that Lord which is only one. Because that's why he started saying it is very important for us to say, listen, O Israel, before he told us any commandment, he just wanted us to know, you know, the importance of knowing this one God who is one Lord. And he went ahead and said, hallelujah, uh, that now he answered the question and said, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and all your mind and all your strength. And uh, this is the loving of the Lord. I really want us to go a little, a little more in discussion here. Uh, uh, that we, he mentioned things here. We, the tools for us to use to love Him. He loved us, yes, but He is listing the tools He He desires us to use to love Him back. Glory to God. And those things He said, they are. Love, we need to love Him with all our heart and with all our soul again i remember discussing the the soul i don't, know, I don't think if i did here or in another group um the soul is a byproduct of his breath and the dirt he created adam when he put him there and he breathed his breath and adam became a living soul so the soul is a byproduct of god's breath and the dirt so that mixture brought a living soul amen glory to god so he wants us to love him with that which came from him because we didn't un unable to love him just because in, in any other way we're gonna love him with what he gave us we're gonna love him with what he has provided we're gonna love him with what it is already in here because we are unable to love the lord the way we should without his help 
So he say, love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul. Again, use the very ingredient he breathed right in us. Glory to God. And he goes ahead and say, love your God with all your mind. Okay, and then that mind is in that very place again. He want us to love him with that and to love him with all our strength. And I do believe this strength is not the physical kind of strength. This strength he's talking about here is the spiritual strength. And where we get the spiritual strength in Timothy, he's telling us that uh, the Lord God gave us the spirit not of fear. You know, when you're afraid, you lose strength, you lose balance and you 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 shiver you tremble and you really unable to do anything but when you are empowered as a timo say but he has given us the spirit of power of love and of sound mind so that very spirit he want us to love him back with it again as i mentioned we are really unable to love god with any other thing we are not able we can love him with our houses <laughs> we can love him with our 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 our, our tangible material stuff because he is a spirit he is a spirit he is touched by what looks like him the spiritual things and here he comes he say uh, um love the lord with all your strength again it's not this muscular strength or this uh, this kind of strength no all of the strength like uh, money because we you know money is power it yeah, gives you strength gives you abilities no he doesn't want that either because he owns the silver and gold i mean the wealth of this world is just nothing to him but uh when we know in psalm 8 4 is uh, uh the psalmist say who who or what is a man that you are so mindful of? He have created a wonderful sight in this world. I'm, I mean, those who travel the world, I mean, they are so marvelous a sight where you go and you wonder, my goodness, this is also existing. Yes, God has created wonderful things, wonderful birds, wonderful mountains, wonderful waterfalls, wonderful things. I mean, some are... Uh, like um uh mother, you know like uh, there's a place they they say there is a uh, uh, a well on a, a fountain which is a hot fountain in i mean the the, the river the it comes up hot water can you imagine things like that volcanoes i mean even earthquake things like that he doesn't even mindful of that even job was asked one day he was like where were you when i was creating this and this and this i imagine he he's not minding all that he created they are greater and big they are marvelous but he don't even worry about them he don't even talk much about them but we the people he is so mindful of us. He is seeking for us. He is looking for us. Why? Because we have the spirit in us. And that spirit is, is of his image and of his likeness. And because of we, we the, is like him, that's why he is following, he is visiting, he is in desire for us to even go before him and you know have fellowship with him. Why? And the very thing he wants us to love back with, uh, to love him back with. We can love him with any other. We will be able to love him with that which is like him. That's why even Adam, he had all these wonderful animals, big, small, and you know, all these birds and fish. I mean, everything was there created, but he named them all, but he couldn't love any of those. Why? They were not like him. All of those, they were just so different. None of those he named the he lo he loved and called part of me you are my no he did it but once eve was created i mean there he went you are my wife i mean he, uh, bone of my bones why he, he he she was like him 
So why the Lord wants us to love with all our heart? In our heart, there is a word. We keep the word in there. That's also spiritual. We love him back with that, with the singing, with the quoting scripture, with talking to him, back to him, looking at his word. Why he's looking at his one? Because the word of God is a spirit. Jesus said in, uh, in John, he said, the word I speak as spirit and our life. So why he is looking too far, too much on his word? Because it is the spirit and it is life. Our God is eternal. So life and the spirit is is has the similarities. Is 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 the same. The, the, the life is, uh, is the spirit doesn't die. That means it has eternal life. God also doesn't die. Doesn't doesn't quit existing. He is forever existing God. So we love him with what he it looks like him. We don't, we, 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 let's not love him with this flesh either. We, he can't take this. <laughs> he's not a flesh. He is, he's not carnal. I like the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. To you be the glory. Yes, yes, to you be the glory. He goes ahead. Again, that's the heart. We store the word of God in there. So when we love we love God with our heart, we are not going to use the, the, the muscle heart, this pumping, blood pumping heart, the organ. Mm -mm. We're going to love him with what is in there. Our heart is a powerhouse of the word of God. And we're going to love him by the word. Quote the scripture back to him. Remind him of what he said. Remind him of what is written. What it is written, it is him. It is the breath. It is the breath. We are reading, he said, that the word of God is, uh, is inspired, is the breath of God. So what, what else to do? To love him with that. Love the Lord with the word. That's why it's very important for us to dwell in the scripture. We're going to please the Lord by what, if we dwell in the word. If we dwell in the word, that's why also when he, uh, Jesus was being baptized, the Holy Spirit came in a form of dove and this, the, the voice of the Lord was heard. And what he said, he said, this is my son in him. I'm well pleased. Listen to him. So as we listen to him, how do we listen to him? He's not here with us. The word dwell in here. You're going to please God. Love the scripture, you're going to please God. Store in your heart, you're going to please God. You're going to love God back with that which pleases him. His son, the word. Thank you, Jesus. Again, he went ahead and said, uh, I, I talked about already the strength. Again, the strength is not us. This muscle strength, you know, this, um, uh, uh, the status strength, you know, the community. You, okay, I live in this community. So you, 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 you feel empowered just because of that community you live. Um, so and so is my family. So you feel empowered because of the relationship you have with that person. No, not that kind of strength. The strength he's talking about is the power he gave us in the spirit in the holy spirit that very spirit of the lord which gives us empowerment which gives us authority that's what we go back to him with and we exalt him with that and when we do something great of power of magnificent of healing the sick of saving the souls we we, we make him proud we make him glorified that's how we love him with glory glory hallelujah Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, he, let's go to the very, uh, that was God. It was just a by the way. I, <laughs> I didn't plan, but he did. He had a plan. That's 31. The second is, oh, let me see. I skipped something. And love your God with your mind. Again, we are told in the scripture, let our mind be renewed. God is communicated with us sometimes by the authority of the mind. That's why the enemy battles our mind so much. Why? Because that's a place God dialogues with us, plans with us, you know, makes things, you know, uh, uh, visions and or, 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 or things to do. It is right in there. That's why we need to renew our mind over and over so that we can be in sync or in line with the Lord and what he is saying. So we needed to use that very department to have him 
have a control. You know, when you love somebody, you allow them. You, you, you let everything to, to be accessible by them. So when we allow him to access our mind, to access our heart, to access our spirit, I mean, we are loving him by allowing this house to be completely his, as we are told by the Corinthians. You know, that uh, Paul t told the Corinthians, which is, we, it's, the one of the Bible, the book we need to learn also. He said, don't you know people that you as a human being, that very body, it is a house. If you allow the Lord to indwell there, it will be a pleasing unto him. You will be loving him. I, I do believe people or, or, of family, you know, when you love your, your people, you really give your all. You give your all. So he want us to give him even our mind let him access your mind let him be creative in your mind allow him to use your thinking capacity allow him to use your your creativity he gave it to you let him do that and once he do he will be glorified hallelujah thank you jesus so he continues here he said yeah i think i skipped that but listen the heart again i explained the soul i explained the mind here we go it's it's a battlefield and he want him to be king in that battlefield so he can win war with you and the name of the lord will be glorified but if you allow you you deny him to access your mind you will lose and losing battles losing uh, 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 uh losing battles yes you 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 don't glorify god with that you uh, the enemy will be happy and will take you down and those around you down because sometimes we win not for us we win for also others who are around us you standing in the lord you benefit yourself and those around you it's not just because of you only that's why when we do some foolish we affect the entire family sometimes we affect the entire community because we forget to know our our actions does not affect only us it affects a big big uh, um Spectrum, let's go ahead and see uh, uh, no, 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 no. mind and the strength. I finish all the three. So do not think these things are carnal. We can't love God in a carnal way. He is a spirit and he will be happy to see us loving him in that way. Glory to God. So 30, 31. The second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. No other commandment is greater than this one. So we're going to finish. We're going to continue this tomorrow. I can't go no further because my 15 minutes is just already completed. I don't want to, to take you again more at the other 15 more minutes is to talk about the verse 31 but this one that's what i wanted to talk about is so good and i do know that god will even add more as i continue to ponder all through the day even tomorrow god bless you all by coming and listening to how important to love the lord with all our heart with all our mind with all our strength and with all our soul all these things must be spiritual you have to dive in, in the spirit. You can love God in any other way. He won't take it because he is not that way. He is a spirit. He is a spirit. So you have to be in the spirit. That's why he say, I'm seeking for worshipers. Those worship who worship me in the spirit and in the truth. God bless everybody. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for sharing us this wonderful word. I mean, we are in awe of what you can say. Thank you, Father, for we are going to try the best we know how to love you in the way you are going to receive our love. We thank you, Father. We bless you, Holy Spirit. Help us to love our God the way he deserves because uh, with our own understanding, we may miss the, the, te the, 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 the technology of loving him. We want to be trained. We want to be empowered to love this awesome wonderful father of ours the way he deserves we want to honor him the way he deserves help us holy ghost we thank you uh jesus we thank you for even you coming and 
shedding that blood for us to be called the sons and daughters of the almighty God. We appreciate the price you paid. And with that, we thank you and we bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. And this is your sister and the Lord. And I just shared with you my 15 minutes daily. And I do believe it, you, it has been of a blessing. So we're going to meet again to finish. I didn't touch what I wanted to say, but all is good. God knows what is best for all of us. Amen. God bless and take care of you and those around you. And bye-bye for today.